Tamika and I am, or T Shante, and I am here with another live to let you guys into some of my experience, my life experiences, okay? Now, if you are 40 and above, which I am 42, looking 30, right, or a little younger, um, I wanted to say that maybe this video is not for you. But if you know someone who could benefit from it, because if you're in your 40s, you've already mastered this. Hopefully, you you know, you have some things under your belt and you don't need someone to tell you these things. But let me tell you something. Let's let's we're going to get down to some dirty stuff that happens in our community, in the melanated community. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about was the way we have all these kids out of wedlock. Okay, that is a generational curse. Why do we do that when there's so many birth control options available? Well, for one, old school beliefs that if you give a child or a young lady or a woman birth control that gives them permission to have sex, they're going to do it anyway. You don't have to give people permission to procreate or to engage in intimacy because it's a natural urge. You know, the kids are always talking about it. Don't think, you know, that it's going to be something if you don't talk to your kids about that they're never going to learn. Okay? So that's one. So I remember when I was younger, my mom told my sister that and she didn't want her to get me birth control at a younger age and it would have probably helped, okay? Now, I didn't have my first child until 30, but at the same time, it is important to protect your own body. Ladies, you already know that these men you're sleeping with are not going to take accountability for their actions. Why would they? Why should they? It's your life. You have control. You get to decide if you want to give birth. And if you know you're sexually active, I'm going to give you an example. You need to get birth control. So I'm going to give you an example. My, I had a relative that was like, I'm abstinent. You know, she was religious. And every time she fell in love, she fell into the bedroom. Now, I get that you want to, you feel like maybe that's not an option for a Christian. But somebody told me this recently. Birth control is like car insurance. You don't need it till you need it. So you're going to tell yourself, you're not going to tell yourself, I don't want car insurance because I'm never going to have an accident. You don't really know that. And as much as we strive to do the right thing, if you're a Christian listening to this, you, you might fall. We have a simple nature. We're human. We get in relationships. But when you have a peace of mind, if you know you're not going to be able to get pregnant, now, I don't think that's going to give you a license to do whatever you want to do. I have a form of birth control. I have an IUD. It is, I, I was relaxed. I did not want my tubes taken out because I had just had a surgery. The doctor gave me that option given the fact that I'm 40 and above and my daughter is 12. So I was like, you know what? Let me think for myself. I'm not in a committed relationship necessarily. I am dating someone, but we haven't gotten to the point where we're making plans to get married. We talk about it. But what if I leave my life to chance? What if I leave my life in the hands of some brother that I'm going to be in love with or maybe have a heated moment and then I don't know if he wants to talk to me anymore. It might have just been a date. Um... Then he and his feelings, because come to find out he might have a wife at home, he don't want you to have a baby. Don't you think getting birth control would give you more control over your destiny? I'm being honest, because we have too many kids, and we see what men do to other women. That's why I didn't want a lot of children. I only wanted one, because, first of all, I finally had a child, because I wanted my parents to see a grandchild before they aged or passed away. I wanted a career more than I wanted children, and I wanted children in the right situation. Now, Ironically, I've been married in a marriage. I did not have a child from a marriage. Praise God, because the men I was married to, we want to have procreated with. But even if you're married, newly married, and you don't want to have any kids, please go get an IUD. Let me tell you, I, may, I know some of you may be like, oh, I already know that. People should know those options are there. Some people don't. Some people are not taught these things. And if you're raised in a situation like I was, nobody talked to me about that. Nobody said, get health care. And if you don't, get some Medicaid and go get yourself taken care of for five years. And then after that, then you can plan. So even if you have a mistake or have a moment with somebody you don't like or y'all break up, you are secure. 
You don't have to worry about calling him some up. Oh, oh, guess what? And you scared to see what his response is going to be. I've been through that. And luckily, I had a miscarriage. So, God really put grace on me. Do you guys understand me? So, I'm going to tell you something. You don't want to leave your life to chance. It's just like if you're dating someone and they look clean. How does a person look with HIV? How does a person look with an STI? You know, they used to call it STDs. They're an STI, sexually transmitted infections. And so, I try to educate myself on these things because I feel a newfound confidence now that I'm taking care of myself. I'm recently single. I am dating again. And at least I'm not looking forward to falling. But if something happens, guess what? I don't have to worry about waking up talking about, oh my God, what if? Let me go get some emergency birth control. Birth control is like car insurance. You don't need it till you need it. And once you're pregnant, birth control does not get rid of the pregnancy. And that is a life. Then you got to tug, have a tug of war with your morals and, and try to figure out if you want or want the baby. Even though we know it takes two to tango, guess what? Men are not always going to want to deal with it. They're not the ones carrying the baby. They're not cramping. They don't have back pain. They're not going through um, contractions, throwing up, or whatever you go through as a pregnant woman so they can walk away. Do you want to leave your life in the hands of fate like that? You don't. As a group of people, I'll say melanated people, we don't plan for the future. A lot of us grew up in poverty, so people that are impoverished are only thinking about paying the bills and making the ends meet. You not had kids, you, you got too many, you're fussing and cussing at them, the daddies ain't there, and the cycle repeats itself because nobody ever sits down and tells the young girls, protect your future you are an investment you have value do not give your life over to men because i don't care who you love or who you trust if you're not ready to procreate get some birth control that's first then use contraceptives we know the statistics say that black women are the fastest group of uh, minorities catching hiv who are we sleeping with Hello? And some of you, thank you for watching. Um, it's Noons. Thank you for watching. Of course, I don't know why I can't see everybody, but this is what I'm trying to say, you guys. Pass this information on to young ladies in your family. You know, I, I've had nieces, and, and I, I didn't get a chance to tell my niece. She wanted kids. And, you know, when you're in love, you think you want their babies until you find out they got a, a record as long as a, a, a roll of paper, toilet paper, until you find out that he got a wife, until you find out he got two or three baby mamas he didn't tell you about. Don't be so quick to mess up your future. Prepare yourself. It's just like the dentist. I, I, I didn't go to the dentist until I went when I was younger. Didn't realize why I needed to keep my insurance, right? So when I got older, I didn't care about dental insurance. When I finally went back, they had to do root canals and extractions. And my mouth was on fire from bleeding. And, you know, that was horrific for me to see my teeth like that. Now, you can't see it. I haven't gotten any work done. But in the back, they had to, they had to do some emergency surgery. Just think if I had done preventative care and gone to the dentist every six months to see if I had cavities. They could have filled the cavities instead of having to do a whole root canal. So it's just like pregnancy. If you protect yourself, you don't have to worry about going getting abortions and, and having to kill a life because birth control is preventative care. Until you decide that you've fallen in love and you've gotten married and you want to plan. Let me tell you something. People, black people can be real racist. White people are very educated. And I'm not talking about degrees. I'm talking about planning. A lot of them do have abortions, but they also use birth control. I've, I've known white couples to be married two and three years and still not have any kids. Because they want to be financially sound and they want to come together and prepare. That's why a lot of people have kids when they're old. Older. Why don't we think about that? We just pop it open. And then some of us want husbands, so we think, oh, if I had his baby, he gonna be in my life forever. When you get to know some of these jokers, you don't want them in your life forever. And I'm talking to us, you guys, because nobody talked to me. 
And even though I don't have a house full of kids, I still went through some heartache. I still had to figure this out on my own. Don't be old school. Don't be so, so religious that you don't protect yourself. I've told myself countless times, I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to fall. I fell. But guess what? I got some insurance now. So I'm, I'm thinking about these things before they happen. Don't wait until you're on your back before you decide, oh, do I want the pill or the patch or the IUD? IUDs are phenomenal. They last for years. You don't have to keep getting the shot. And some people, oh, they make you gain weight. That baby going to make you gain weight. And it's going to be hard to get that off. Watch what you eat. See, sometimes because of the way we were brought to this country and nobody really protected us and we didn't have parents to teach us a lot of things, we have been tricked and we don't care enough about ourselves because we're seeking love in the wrong places and we're hoping these men commit. We're hoping they fall in love and then your baby daddy got a new girlfriend and you wish he was in your home raising your kids. I have a daughter. I didn't I didn't conceive her in a marriage. I did want him to be in my life as a as a husband. But guess what? Child, this man ain't no husband material. I love him like a brother. But he just may not be for me. Right? So you're taking a chance, being stuck with somebody you may not even like. Then I want to speak to people sleeping with baby daddies hoping for a ring. Don't do that. Let me let me let me tell y'all. I didn't include that in my book, but I have a book called Why Are You Sleeping Alone? Let me tell you something. It's best to sleep alone than be sleeping with anything, having trash in your bed, don't know, you know, day to day if he wants you or not, praying, crying, and then you done had more kids by this Negro. He didn't take care of the first one. You're hoping, why would you be intimate with a man that didn't take care of your first child? That's what I'm talking about. But see, we don't think. We, nobody stops us and say, baby, you know how people say, queen, put your crown on. Pick up your crown. Make better decisions. Use some birth control and take care of you. I've got to end this live. I'm cooking, but I love you guys. Share the video. Talk to someone younger than you. Mentor them. And if you're in a situation, you don't have your tube side and you don't have two or three kids, go do something. Because we know how we get down and we want to protect our destiny because we are the only ones in control of it. Love you. Have a wonderful Monday. Bye-bye.